Hey guys, I'm gonna take you real quick through this virtual flip that I'm doing here in Chicago. Um, just real quick, I didn't believe that this was possible probably a couple of years ago. And then I decided to take a chance and do it and it turned out for us. So this is just one of, you know, the ones that we're doing. This one here is gonna be coming to the market um, real soon. So, so this is the project here. Um, this house looked similar to this house. <laughs> so we're working on trying to see if we can get this one, pull this one out and get this one done also. Um, so real quick, new windows, new doors, new um, siding, fascia, new fencing here can't see it but new roof on the house we even took out some windows because of the project what we were doing so i'm gonna take you guys on through we can't go upstairs because the flooring just got redone so i want to show you just want to kind of show you show you everything so uh, when we started, we had to put in all new windows, uh, like I said, all new windows, tuck pointing was done. This bottom here, we had finished out the basement and then there was a heavy rain in Chicago and the contractors called, let our project manager know, hey, you know what, we got water coming in the basement. So an unexpected expense, we had to seal the whole entire basement inside and out. And then another thing I wanted to show you was Along this path here was a guardrail, just like if you was on the expressway, it was a guardrail. So we had to have, you know, that taken out. You can actually see the footings still there. So let's go on in. Let me show you kind of everything that we had to do. And don't worry about the backyard. We got some the landscapers coming in to finish up the backyard. Um, so see we got it sealed all the way around so this house is going to be completely sealed no water new ac unit here on the house let's take you in i'll take you up top first as much as we can see so can't go because the um the floors are still wet and what i wanted to talk about this was is that the floors I had flew in on Thursday and came immediately here looked at the floors wasn't pleased with the floors because they were still a little dull they had refinished them they were still dull but I said man I need them to look like glass and that's exactly what they did they turned them um, they finished them out real nice also, you can't quite see the kitchen because I can't walk up there, but we got the white shaker cabinets. We have the gray, um, gray and white backsplash and counters, all new appliances. We have in the bathroom here, again, that marble flooring. And we have that also around the, around the shower inside of there. Um, and then another thing was right there where the refrigerator is, that's where the bathroom was. So I was a little creative, said, let's move the bathroom that was up here to the back and move the kitchen that was back here up front. So it cost us a little bit more to do it, but I think it turned out because this house is only around 1100 square feet up top, it made it feel a lot bigger and a lot open. So that's what we did here. And I think it turned out pretty nice. So let's go, go downstairs. So coming downstairs, again, this basement was not finished. This was all just block walls and cement floors. So we finished it all out. Now got a nice family room down here. We added a bathroom and a bedroom down here, which turned out 
really nice. So somebody's gonna get a brand new, brand new house pretty much. Um, so originally this house was a three bedroom, one bath. We converted it to a four bedroom, two bath. And it only cost us a little bit more in order to do that, to make that change. So um, again, this is a completely new house. Everything is new. Systems, a new water heater is new. Furnace is new. AC unit is new. Um, so yeah, it turned out, turned out really, really nice. We have a huge laundry room in here, which we're still gonna be adding some shelving and everything over here. New electrical running throughout the house. Plenty of storage here. So I'm really proud of the work and everything that was done. Um, so, so stay tuned as we bring more to the market. I uh, really get a kick out of this, really enjoy this. Um, and we just use this money to buy more doors. So this is one of the things that we do. And like I said, I didn't think it was possible because I was always a firm believer of you need to be in the market where you're working, where you live, but we had some challenges and we needed to step out of that, that comfort zone. And because we did that, we was able to do more projects outside of the Phoenix market. So I'm a virtual wholesaler, virtual flipper, but basically a real estate investor. And this is just one of the projects that we are bringing to market next week. Uh, we work with a great uh, Keller Williams firm here, thanks to uh, Frank Montro, the best on the South side. So we got more coming. Just wanted to show you this project. We definitely have more coming and stay tuned.